Hello and welcome to a new video. Today is finally the day and the time to clean up this studio. I have been working here whether it has been on this table or in the ground, basically wherever I have had the space. And I have been pulling up art supplies that I have needed at the time and I have not necessarily always put them back where they belong but today that is going to change and today I am changing this studio back to its organized and clean state and let me show you what we are working with. So here is my studio. I am embarrassed but I guess this is the result of studying a distant mode and just working here on my studio 24-7. And here is my wall of art and I can't nail anything down so I have just used tape. It looks messy and also in the result of taping everything stuff do fall on the ground. <laughs> And I am not always up to taping them back to the wall where they fell. So where should I start? I think because I have some prints drying under all of those sketchbooks and books, uh, I will start from there. The print should be dried by now and I will reorganize my bookshelf. So let's start from that. So uh, under here I have a bunch of papers and I still don't know where should I put all of them. It's just a bunch of different sketches and papers and under here I have some passport tours and also under here I have a bunch of different things as well so I will go through all of these and start from the bottom and go my way up. Okay so firstly I think that I will separate uh, papers that I have already used and papers that I are still untouched into two different uh, separate piles. And also I am not very sentimental person with my own work so I will just throw away stuff that I feel like I'm never gonna use or gift or sell. Of course there are some stuff that I want, I would like to preserve, so I will add a third pile for things that I'm throwing out. Like I said, I like to uh, tape on the walls stuff that I have done or artwork that I have received. So now I will uh, see if I have something to add to my wall or or if not, I will put them somewhere away from this bookshelf. And at the bottom here I have tons of different scrap papers and I know I'm never gonna use these when they are hidden in here but I don't want to throw them away nor do I have any idea how should I display these so I remember these are my options for paper as well. Okay, I think I will try to use this bottom shelf for sketchbooks and not store any of my paintings or sketches or drawings or some, anything like that in here. So I know this is the shelf where I go when I need any kinds of paper. These sketches and paintings and drawings I will go through later, but right now these are out of the shelves as I wanted and I will get back to them when I'm done with this shelf. Here is a liner block, this doesn't belong into a bookshelf. So I have a habit of having a lot of sketchbooks and I'm not about to change that. I would like to keep them all. I have a couple that are already full, so I think my order will be somehow separating them from the sketchbooks that are uh, available for use. So basically how I have organized this bookshelf is books over here and sketchbooks down here, so I will Continue the same style. Okay. 
Here I made this bowl out of clay and I'm just restoring candles and lighter and all little knickknacks and it's not ideal but I really don't know where else should I put them. We will have to see if I get a space where we move on on the other things later on. Okay, this bookshelf is now quite okay but I still have these uh, and stuff that I wouldn't necessarily put in a bookshelf. So I was thinking, I have a walk-in walk uh, closet. I could transfer that into some sort of shipping supply closet. If I would organize the space a bit differently, I think I would find a lot of room for storage. So I think I will do that. These were my sunglasses, but the lenses fell, fell out, but I just <laughs> put them over here. This is a... Uh, plaster mold of my face and this is my hand and these are two uh, playtable features. I was thinking I could uh, use these as is. Would they suit me? <laughs> I look like I should be a TV reporter from the news from back, back of the times. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, the bookshelf is done. And I have created a mess on the floor, so we shall tackle this piece next. So I will throw into this trash bag whatever I don't need. This was my great idea to make my own sketchbook and it was supposed to be for landscapes, but surprise surprise I never got myself to use this. This is not very handy. And I have never used this since, so this will have to go. Some mist print. And as I said, I am not the person to store too much of these kind of experiments if I don't like the end result and feel like I'm never gonna use them to anything. So these go to trash as well. And for these practices I like the very stark and the soft ones, so I think I will put them on my wall next to each other. And I really like these as well, so I will keep these. I think these I will keep. Here is a bunch of paper that I could use, but these are very <laughs> in odd shape, so Clean paper I'm never throwing into trash, I will always keep any clean paper that is reusable. But the thing is that there is really not a good space for this. And I think I will store these into my walk-in walk -in closet as well. These stupid fake flowers, why did I ever buy them? <sighs> now they are... A pain in my pot. All right, the floor is mostly clean, and now I can switch to my supply shelf. Here at the bottom, I usually storage my tools, but I will go through all of these and see if there's anything that needs to be stored somewhere else or thrown away. On this shelf I have a couple of containers and some raw pigments that I have used. It's not much but I don't want to throw away these. A bit of varnish and the reason why they are in these unhandy containers is that we, during the mixed media course we were able to take these uh, in these containers home. So that's why they are there. Then I also have some modeling paste. I don't know if this is... Okay, this is an easy and <laughs> this is dried completely, so this can go to trash. <clears throat> then I have some sand. So yeah, they are not ideal like this, but I don't want to throw them away. Mm -hmm. 
for this section I really don't have a clever easy fix it's just a bunch of different things that don't go really well together over here I have different painting mediums and fixative glue turpentine stuff like that a couple of paints and gesso ink and the newest addition that is throwing everything off is uh, these uh, liner cut stuff that in my opinion does not belong here so I need to figure out a better way to store these yeah I think that might be it not a lot of things changed but it's a difficult storage system for now I can move on to other things all right now I will clean up this desk area and now that I have organized the bookshelf and the supply shelf uh, it's easier to just pick stuff from the table and put them in their right places It is already looking better and now I will focus on the floors and then I will put some more artwork on this wall as well. I am done and it might have not seen much, I don't know if it did, but it took me a couple of hours to set up to go through everything and organize them back where they belong and I am so happy that I finally took the time and cleaned up this space and my excuse always this far has been that oh this is an art studio space so of course it's going to be messy and a place where it's clearly seen that there is a person creating but it's a poor excuse because working in a messy or unorganized space it's going to just take a lot of your time finding out where can I work or where can I find these tools etc so I really think that working in a studio that is organized is going to help with creativity and working in general so yeah we will see how long this will last uh, I'm trying to keep up with this but yeah, that was it for the video. Thank you so much for watching and go check out my Instagram and all the other social medias. The links are down in the description below and I will see you on my next video. Bye!